denied a chance to develop their full human potential, including their potential to lead healthier and at least somewhat happier lives, is society as a whole really healthy? In this case, it's not my question. It's the question raised by Dr. Margaret Chan, Director General of the World Health Organization, which just finished up its first, first study of women's health around the world. Their verdict, societies are still failing women. While the women are the ones who provide the bulk of health care, they rarely receive the care they need. Sound familiar? Worldwide, WHO reports women do the caring at home, at hospital, at clinics, and yet those very same institutions fail them. Take HIV AIDS. Up to 80% of all health care and 90% of care for HIV AIDS related illness is provided in the home by, you guessed it, women. Yet women remain disproportionately uncared for, poorly protected, and as a result, HIV is now the leading cause of death and disease among women between ages 15 and 44. Manage to survive a little older, and the two leading killers of women are heart disease and strokes. Why? Well, because women show what one friend of mine was told in a New York hospital were atypical symptoms. Cute as long as the male minority of the population is considered the typical patient, women apparently will keep dying because of that fact. Sounds strident? It's just common sense, says the WHO, which even tries to win governments over by offering economic incentives to care for moms and daughters. Because women tend to live longer than men, they say societies will pay a huge cost later if they don't deal with women's health care now. But really, Quote, we will not see significant progress as long as women are regarded as second-class citizens in so many parts of the world, said Dr. Chan. Unequal power relations, she continued, translate into unequal access to health care and unequal control over health resources. What, she continues, does this say about the state of social progress in the 21st century? One can only wish that Dr. Chan had asked Representative Stupak and the House Democrats.